One of the more unique things about this battery is the Hey, what's going on everybody? We have another battery up to take a look at. This is the WISE 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This one's been around for a little while. This is the group 31 size battery from WISE. I think they have a couple new flavors now that I've not messed with, but this is the first 100 amp hour that we've taken a look at from WISE. Um, has your traditional battery management system in it. So it's got the overcurrent protection, over voltage, under voltage, low temperature, high temperature, I think it's all of them. And it also has low temperature charge protection. So if you try to charge the battery while it's freezing, it's gonna sense that the cells are too cold and will not let you charge it till the battery warms up a little bit, which is a nice feature to have. Now, overall, this is our lithium iron phosphate chemistry. We do a lot of videos on this type of battery. So you're probably well aware of the cycle life benefit. You can get a couple thousand cycles out of one of these batteries, depending on your depth of discharge. Uh, the less, you know, if you go from uh, 80% depth of discharge, you're gonna get maybe 3,000 cycles, whereas if you went 50%, you'll get four or 5,000 cycles out of a battery. You'll probably age it out before you cycle it out. So lots and lots and lots of life in one of these batteries. They're also very light, like this guy's only some 23 pounds or so. So it's about half the weight of a lead acid battery that you may be already using for one of your trolling motors or something, and double the capacity of about 100 amp hours. So we did do our normal testing on the battery. We did our 10 amp current draw on it fully charged it, and I think we got 109 amp hours out of it. So that's pretty good, you know, that's up there on, on capacity. 109 amp hours is nothing to uh, nothing to shy away from. That's a nice performance out of the battery here. We also did our, our kind of new test for the channel. We've done it on one other battery. This is the second one we've done it on. So let's go ahead and jump over to that video. So now we're gonna do our 100 amp discharge test. Hopefully we get to the full 100 amps. We're gonna try to overclock it a little bit and see if the, uh, the overcurrent protection will kick in on this. We've got our inverter, a variable load, and a heat gun. So let's go ahead and get going. Right. This is only a 1,000 watt inverter, so we may uh, take it out. See, I'm gonna leave it there and see if it kicks out. 110, 111, 114. Doesn't look like it's gonna kick out for us. So, not seeing the uh overcurrent protection kicking in quite yet at 110, 114. Interesting. And then, so that's kind of how that went. So I tried yet another battery. So take a look at that one. Do it again with another battery to see what results we get. Here we go. Taking out my inverter. There we go, let's hold 110. There it goes. That's what it's supposed to do. Let's see what it says. It went to standby. Discharge off. Yep, see, it kicked it back off. So it's it's telling itself I'm too hot. That's what it should have been doing. Interesting. Okay, so maybe maybe I need a bigger inverter. Not exactly sure. Uh, you know, the one orange battery did cut off like I thought it would. Didn't quite cut off on this one. So maybe that's the overcurrent protection is a little bit, you know, maybe you got to be 130 amps or something to get that to kick in. I was expecting it at that 110, 115. You know, that's 15% that's more than 1C. So uh, that's getting up there. But one of the more unique things about this battery is the top came off of it when I was testing it. So look at this. Let's start the first test on our WISE 100 amp hour battery. And I went to tighten up this terminal with a wrench and the lid is coming off. Not a good start, but we're gonna go ahead and run it anyway. See how the capacity does. 
Okay, so that is the first time that this has happened. Uh, I've never had, you know, when I got it, it was loose in the corner and I literally just pulled it off with my hands, no tools. That's why it's like a perfect cut. There's just a little bit of white adhesive left on it. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, so let's go ahead and take this guy apart like that. We're gonna take our terminals loose off the top and see what we got. All right, so here's something for you guys looking at a group 31 size battery versus a 24. So I like to push the 24 batteries these days. These 31s work if you have a 31 already and you just wanna drop it right in. But look, look at all this foam. There's the foam and then look, there's more foam. So this is what I'm talking about when there's a group 24, it's literally the same four cells in a group 24 size package. And that's what you get the smaller battery with. All right, so let's pop this out without touching anything we shouldn't. All right, I think we got it. Oh, there's that. So we're gonna take a look at our cells and our BMS. This kind of plastic board is pretty typical. Get that out of the way, here's our BMS. So we have our four ground leads, we have our one primary positive, we've got our temperature sending unit over here. Uh, this is a 100 amp BMS. We know that from our capacity test that we did. It'll pull 100 amps out of it. Um, no real markings on the cells. Eight, two, maybe there's a date on them. Uh, not much to decipher from that. So the bus bars are welded, which is nice. That's what you want. You want them welded, not bolted. You know, something else to come loose when they're bolted. Um, these are strapped together. You know, these things are stout. I don't know if you've ever tried to tear one of those apart, uh, but I wouldn't be concerned about how that's set up. These are all marked. There's no adhesive or any kind of uh, securement on it other than the torque. They've been marked, so someone obviously torqued them and marked them. Nothing is loose. These are all nice and tight. Um, no concerns there. Looks, looks pretty good. With that in mind, I've got links down in the description to uh, battery stuff. Feel free to check those out, like, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.